Publish Reports with Calyptus In this video, we will see how to publish reports in Calyptus server in order to distribute them to users. We will see the following. Publish a project from Calyptus Desktop to Calyptus Server. Create a destination. Create a schedule. Generate and distribute reports by creating a task. View reports in Calyptus Hub. Once you have created reports with Calyptus Desktop, you can now publish your project to Calyptus Server in order to generate and distribute reports automatically for your users. We will start by publishing our Calyptus project to Calyptus Server. To do this, we first configure our Calyptus Server account. Open your project in Calyptus Desktop and go to Settings. Click on the My Account tab. Note that you must have an account on Calyptus Server to be able to publish a project. Enter the address of your Calyptus Server. Choose the type of authentication, Windows authentication or authentication with your Calyptus Server credentials. Now we can publish the project to Calyptus Server. Click Publish to the Server. Choose if you want to upload the template files to the server. Note that it is important that the template files be saved on Calyptus Server. Uncheck this box only if you publish the project again without modifying the template files. Click Publish. The project is now published to Calyptus Server. We will now connect to Calyptus Server to generate and distribute the reports. As you can see, our project is visible on the Projects page with all its data. To publish the project reports, we will create a task by specifying the reports that we want to generate, the destinations where we will save the reports, the users who will receive the reports, and finally, we will program the task so that it runs automatically. Let's start by creating a destination. On the Destinations page, Click Create Destination. Enter a name. Enter a description if you wish. Select the type of the destination. For our case, we will choose to create a destination with the folder type to store the reports in a local folder. You can choose other types if you have configured storage services like FTP, OneDrive, and others. Enter the folder path. You can create a dynamic path using a custom text in the recipient name. Click Save. We will now create a schedule. Several execution frequencies are possible. Hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly. For our example, we are going to create a schedule that will fire every week. Monday at 6 a.m. We will leave the time zone on UTC plus 1. We can now create our published task. Click Create Task. Enter a name for the task. Add a description if you wish. Select a project. Then click Save. The task is now created. Click Publish. Let's start by adding reports to this task. Select a report and output format. As this report is an iteration report which will generate several files, additional options are displayed. You have the possibility to zip the files which will be saved in folders. Calyptus allows you to dynamically store each file in one or more locations. Calyptus also allows you to send each file to its recipient. Finally, you can choose which user has access to which file in the Calyptus hub. The system is very simple to configure. 
Just create a variable in ClickSense or ClickView which will contain a value for each iteration. For more details with concrete examples, please visit the Help page, Add Reports to a Task. Don't forget to save. In addition to the filters you can use at the reports, you also have the option of adding filters to a task. We're not going to add a filter for this task. In the Distribution tab, we will choose how to distribute the reports. You can save reports to one or more destinations. We will save the reports that will be generated in the destination that we created a moment ago. We will also publish the reports in the Calyptus Hub. Here we will choose to keep the last five occurrences of each file that will be generated. Put zero to not limit the number of occurrences to save. The third means of distribution is email. An email will be automatically sent at the end of the generation of reports. You have the option of attaching the reports to the email or simply informing the user that their reports are available. You can add variables in your message like the username, user email, the name of the reports generated, and where the reports are saved. In the Recipients tab, we will select the users who can view the reports. You can add users or groups. Adding groups allows for easy management of recipients. You can, for example, send the reports to all users using the All Users group or send the reports to the sales department using the Sales group. Select the Send Email checkbox to allow the user to receive the distribution email. Check the Can See in Hub checkbox to allow the user to view reports in Calyptus Hub. In our case, we will add a user. Finally, we will schedule this task to run automatically. We're going to add the schedule we created a moment ago to generate reports every week. Make sure the task is enabled. A scheduled task will run on the date and time of its schedules only if it is active. You can execute the task at any time by clicking on Run Task. You can view the status of the task in the status page, Scheduled Tasks. Let's run the task. Execution is successfully completed. You can see the details of the execution by consulting the log file. As you can see, the reports are published in Calyptus Hub. You can view or download them. You can also view older versions of each file and subscribe to the report. Reports are also saved to the local folder. An email has been sent to the recipient we have chosen. Here we are. We saw together how to publish reports and schedule their generation and distribution. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more videos on Calyptus documentation website and on our YouTube channel.